Hi everyone, today it's uh, very, very big news. It looks like there's going to be a new Israeli government, official government today, and a new prime minister. It looks like Benjamin Netanyahu is going to return yet again as a prime minister of Israel. And what's in fact interesting about this uh, new coalition, it's probably arguably the most uh, right-wing and uh, strong religious nationalist, nationalistic uh, coalition there's ever been in Israel. So uh, firstly, we have to state out in the religion that all the different... Uh, political parties on the table, they all bring something uh, of a good cause. That is, uh, first of all, and it's also a grey area to always say that uh, one is right over the other in uh, many other things, albeit, uh, yeah. But what's interesting is, is that in uh, this coalition, it's within regards from a Torah perspective, within regards to the finances and the budgets, it's very quite clear this could be the, the highest paying budgeting uh, coalition ever in the Israeli uh, in the Medinat Israel history, with uh, a great amount of uh, Torah observance, there's going to be a great amount of uh, money going towards uh, Kashrut, towards uh, Torah study halls, towards schools. There's going to be uh, more Torah education inside the various schools, even the secular schools in Israel. There's going to be much more money uh, being given, branded out uh, to uh, strengthen the Zionistic pride. There's definitely going to be more money uh, with this, uh, from the looks of it given to Chutzar to strengthen ties with uh, the Israeli heritage, with the Jewish heritage and the state of Israel. So from that perspective, for sure, uh, that's obviously a very, very welcome thing. In my opinion, this is uh, naturally. So people could say, what's the big deal? You know, Torah and politics. A lot of people say that, uh, you know, don't get too political, which in many cases, that is going to be the correct thing. But at the end of the day, everything that... Uh, comes about, especially in Am Yisrael, or anything going, taking place in the world, there's a strong significance to it. And also, as a, especially a lot of us Jewish people, we should look at how, what, what's going on in Israel. It's very, very important how Israel is perceived in the outside world. So I'll just give a summary of the new government. It's going to comprise, of, naturally, of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud. They are, usually they end up the largest party, anyway, uh, from the electoral uh, uh, people. They end up usually with uh, 30, 35 seats. Then there's going to be two ultra-Orthodox parties inside that also have key positions in this one. And there's a very strong religious Zionistic party that is also in this time got about, I think, 14 or 15 uh, mandates, which is very, very strong. And they definitely are going to pump in a lot of money and energy into strengthening Jewish identity into Israel. So for sure, in my opinion, it's definitely a uh, very new welcomed government. It's going to be a strong government for Israel. And you know, remember, it's uh, very important, in my opinion, that Israel is seen strong across the world. We've got to be fair also at the same time, but we have to be seen as a strong entity worldwide. So that is definitely uh, exciting news. And you know, it's interesting, wh wherever we are inside the world, we say inside the Shemona Esra every day, we govern for Yerushalayim, for the welfare of the state of Israel. And many synagogues, all across the world, especially on Shabbat, will do it to fill up with the Medinat Israel. So it's very, very important how it is coming. But we've got to remember also that, uh, you know, this new government is, is in, but Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef, I believe the Prime Minister, the current Prime Minister of Israel, he himself pointed out that uh, one should uh, take care of all the Israeli citizens. We shouldn't, now that one party has got total control, God forbid there should not be a... Uh, a uh, civil war, let's just say, between uh, conflicts. Everyone's got to take care of each other. And Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef actually pointed that out, that that was the derech of Rabbi Yovadia. Like, you could, could not start a, uh, you know, trouble among the different Jewish factions upon Israel. One's got to keep everyone happy. And they actually say, I believe, uh, Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef quotes the famous Rabbi, the Chazon Ish. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a point, everyone in the government and in the media, some people are saying it's going to become now a theocracy it's going to become a state where everyone's going to be forced to keep shabbat forced to keep everything however rabbi yitzhak yourself quotes the chazonish and the chazonish said was quoted to say that no one ever started keeping shabbat or became religious when god forbid you know some of the extremists will throw stones or those kind of things on a shabbat to try and encourage other people that's what rabbi yitzhak yourself quoted himself saying so the the way to bring about the people is to embrace to gather to educate also 
And uh, hopefully this government is going to use the key positions, you know, now that uh, there's a lot of religious presence inside the Knesset to do Kiddush Hashem, to become a light onto all of Am Yisrael. And hopefully all the nations, all the Arab nations, more of them are going to come and seek peace with uh, Israel. And uh, we're going to see a lot of peace. We're going to see an eradication of terrorism. We're going to see a strong Israel at the same time. An Israel that's not a weak one, that just says whatever everyone else says. It's an Israel that the whole world is going to see as a beacon of light. It's going to be one where there's going to be no terrorism taking place, but a tough Israel at the same time. And we're going to protect the ID, our precious IDF soldiers and uh, IDF soldiers throughout the year. And we're going to have like a lot of Torah flourishing over here because obviously we even learned in uh, the Parshiot, just in the uh, Parshat uh, Vayishlach, just recently, that when uh, Yaakov had to go out to battle, he, ha he had to fight at the end of the day. That was one of the things he had to prepare for. But the Torah was also important. And we learned in, I believe it was in uh, Parshat Yitro, Parshat Kitisa, when Moshe Rabbeinu, when there was a war against uh, Amalek, Moshe Rabbeinu, and the, the, they say that when his hand, they went to war at the time against Amalekites, and one of his hands were high in Tefillah, it was uh, Hash Am Yisrael were, were in a winning state, and whenever he raised his hands down, they were in a losing state. Hence, that his tefillot also do protect. So, hopefully, we're going to have a government now. We're going to have a country now where there's going to be a flourishing in Torah scholarship. There's going to be a country where a strong IDF also is always needed. We're going to have a peaceful country where everyone's going to embrace each other, and there's just going to be a lot of brachot for Am Yisrael and for the whole world. It is. And people in the Chutzar could say, what's, you know, this doesn't necessarily affect me. But, uh, you know, we've got a dove and everyone that's in Chutzar, where we are in the world, whether in Canada or in England or in America, we've got a dove for the welfare of our own respective countries, but also of Israel. Hopefully Israel is in a good light and is in a good situation. And Bezrat Hashem, this new government and uh, Hashem is going to give the blessing, Bezrat Hashem, to this new government to do what's right for the Torah, for Am Yisrael, for peace for all over the world, for people to love each other, for there to be just a, a flourishing coming, uh, have a golden years and a golden time period where Mashiach Bezrat Hashem is going to come and we're going to see the rebuilding of the third Bet HaMikdash where the Kotel sits. At the moment, we should be striving for a stronger Israel and uh, an Israel we shouldn't be looking to be a weak country that has to give things up and do whatever the rest of the world says. You know, we are here and Hashem's given us this blessing and we're in a golden period now in uh, Jewish history. So Bezrat Hashem, it's going to be a good time period. Have a great day guys and Shabbat Shalom in advance.